I'm gonna give this a 92. Holy it's the highest scored, you know, I am that I've rated under 150. Just take all my money. Oh, not this soon, not this soon. Oh. Wait a minute. It's kind of mid, guys. Like, it's not bad, but I don't hear what's so unique about this set. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. If you want unique, go try the Nightingale. That's unique. This is just base boosted the fuse field, no? Maybe my unit is just different because some of these do look like completely different sets, but those do not look smooth to me, not with that peak. My unit is smooth. It's probably the same as the one Timmy got, which is why I came to a similar conclusion as him, you know? It sounds surprisingly very normal, like neutral, well-balanced. It's fine. The magic one is very balanced, slightly warm. Things are laid out evenly and nicely in front of you. If neutral was white, then this would be off-white. This would be beige. It's a good all-rounder. Does most genres very well, no issues. But if you like a more energetic sound, then you're not gonna like these. So if you're a bass head or triple head, then these are probably not for you. Bass is fine, lacks some rumble and texture as well as the physicality and weight behind the slam. But the decay is nice and quick, doesn't really get in the way if anything else. A little bit warm and forward, but yeah, it's uh, it's perfectly fine. However, I do agree that female vocals are very nice on these. The extra mid bass gives them that weight behind the voices, while there's a slight edge and sharpness to the end notes. There's probably a peak around 5 to 6k like the Blessing 3 or like a peak around 10k-ish. It's a little bit airy, not the most open and extended because they did cut off the 3k gain and then plus the extra mid bass on top makes them a little bit huskier. but. Yeah, again, the vocals are very nice, although I'm not hearing the uniqueness and magic behind it, like the original Oracles, the Dark Magician, or the Rs5. It just seems very well-balanced vocals. It's not super airy or sharp, not the most open and detailed, not the most powerful either, like the Rs5. In fact, male vocals are actually a bit congested from the combination of the extra mid bass, plus cutting off the 3k gain. And the peak at around 5 to 6k as well as past 10k helps highlight the vocals a bit more. It helps it bring out the shine a little bit more edginess a little bit sharper but at the same time it does become a little bit sibilant and a little bit fatiguing on rock track especially if you're turning it up at higher volumes but i will give props to the floor though there's no masking in the 1.5k region which helps with the perceived separation but male vocals can still feel a bit blunted at times triple on the other hand is fine my unit is pretty smooth i would say it's a slight bump over the araya 2 and the ew200 in terms of treble extension and air. Symbols have a nice decay to them. Soundstage is average, around the same as the others, and notes are pretty clear as well as the separation again is solid. But I don't hear that much reverb to the sound like the Nightingale, and stage and detail-wise, it's a night and day difference when I compare it to the Nightingale. The stage is just so much wider and more open, more resolving and more detailed on the Nightingale. Again, if you want a unique sound, that would be a more unique signature. The Magic One is actually closer to the Hexa and Saunas to me, very vanilla and neutral sounding, my unit at least. Around the same technical performance as the Hexa, which is impressive given this is only 1BA and it's very well tuned for 1BA and there's no BA timbre so that's very nice. It reminds me of the Kara but with less air and sharper vocals and at its price point, the Magic One is a bit hard to recommend. Maybe if it was around $80 to $100 then I think it would have been fine because like the cable and the design is absolutely stunning, very beautiful. But if you wanted a clean, neutral sound, then the Nova is just a better version tech-wise for $10 more. It's probably cheaper than the Magic One right now, actually. So, Or you can grab the Hexa right now for like half the price. It's also on sale. And the sound is very similar, just not as full sounding. Vocals aren't as sharp and forward, but very similar level of technical performance. And then at $40, the EW200 has better bass, slams harder, has a funner sound, more engaging. It's not as clear and well separated. And I would say the Magic One has a little bit better detail and resolution. Or you can even get the Saunas if you like that neutral sound. I think it's around $50 right now. So yeah, I personally don't get the hype myself. I would still take the DZ4 for vocals. They just sound more powerful and more open. Not as sharp and detailed versus the Magic One, but I just like them more. It sounds more natural. So I guess if you want sharper 
and more detailed vocals around $100, then sure, these would be pretty good. If you want a sweet vocals, the Olina SC is also just very good. Similar tech levels, so again, not the most unique in my opinion. Or if you like the Hexa and that neutral sound, but want heavier note weight and more sharpness to it, then again, sure, it's an upgrade in that regards. So I guess it's not completely overpriced because it does address a specific niche and demand in the market. Whereas when you compare the Araya 2 to the EW200, there's like no difference, which is why the Araya is overpriced sound wise in my opinion but yeah if you want a slightly warm neutral sound sharp vocals then go for it this is also a pretty cool collector set because you just don't get a lot of you know well implemented single BAs so again props to the fool for doing a great job with only a single BA but that aside uh that's all for now I again I don't see the uniqueness or I personally don't hear the uniqueness behind my unit but hey maybe I just got a neutral boring unit but but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see everyone soon